Hey there, YouTube. Barnard Racing here. For those of you who've been following the website, you've been uh, following the story about how I've been going and, and mounting this Bosch combination uh, air pressure sensor and air temperature sensor on the top of the manifold on my uh, Dodge Stealth so I can uh, do a better temperature reading using this combo sensor directly out of the charger and the manifold instead of on a separate block like I had it before. Uh, with a view to eventually being able to run this thing in speed density, or at least just have a better way to package the sensor. So I taught myself how to weld, so I could weld that uh, plate there on top that, it, that fits on, the machining, make it all work. Everything is just tickety-boo. And then because no plan survives contact with the actual car, we find out that hood clearance is an issue. So we had to go ahead and notch the hood support a little bit to uh, get it to fit at all. A, a bit of an ugly hack job at the moment. I'll, I'll polish it up at some point in time. And I've got it to the point where now I can put a piece of tape on top of the sensor and uh, close the hood and the tape doesn't transfer up on top of the hood. The question now is how much clearance do I really have between the sensor and the hood? And I've got a new way to, to test that and see just how much more I have to cut away, if any. So what I've got done here is taking a piece of plasticine that uh, nice bright pink there, uh, rolled it into a ball, spread it out into a cylinder, got it all nice and pliable, and it's now lying on top of the sensor. So I can close the hood down on it, that'll form an impression in the plasticine, and we can then measure the thickness of it and see just how much room we really have. So we'll just go ahead and close the hood. There's our plasticine. So we can see it made an impression there. And now we'll just take it off and measure it and see how bad it really is. So we'll take our handy dandy caliper. So that's about eight millimeters. That section there is about 10. And that section there is about 3. 8 millimeters is tons of space. That shouldn't interfere with anything. Uh, it's just a little bit in there, the narrow spot where it comes off the end of the connector and it's getting close to the hood. That there could probably do with a little bit more clearancing. Now you could use this trick. For anything where you've got a clearance where you can't see it, uh, it's basically a, an adjustment of the same way you measure crankshaft clearance using plastic gauge. Just get yourself a roll of plasticine, sandwich it between the two of them, and measure the thickness to see how bad it is. So I gotta do some grinding on the hood, or maybe I'll buy that fiberglass hood I've always wanted. Uh, in the meantime, uh, thanks for watching.